A new Minecraft speedrun world record has been claimed, but apparently it is fake. He claims to have beaten the game in 6 minutes 30, which would smash the, the previous world record by those standards. The video's by Fulham, who's actually a friend of mine. And as fake as this record is, we're going to see if we'd actually spot the discrepancies and see how obvious or how clever they've been. And you know what isn't fake? My blockhead. This is the real deal. He's very, very epic. He's very, very cool. And he's very, very fluffy as well. So yeah, he is, uh, he's amazing. You can get him on the Blockhead store. Link at the top of the description. Don't miss out because they will not last forever. They're on sale a limited amount of time. And the timer is ticking down very, very fast. And now let's listen to Fulham tell us about this. Lawyer not... is the YouTuber. Firstly, let's talk about this run and discover where the discrepancies lie. At the start okay. of the run, we see them use a mapless buried treasure technique. This is pretty normal strategy. It's been used in the last 10-ish world records. Okay, to nothing too special about that. Food and iron Just using the, uh, really early the F3 the menu. Game. Also, TNT is super useful to grab early game blocks as well. After crafting tools, Lawyer spots some kelp in the distance. And okay, so obviously this magma. player is, is decent at the game, Once at speedrunning. The flint, they but head down into the magma ravine and prepare to make... So far, everything looks, looks legit. Metal. Now, this is usually faster, but they make a small mistake and pick up some water midway through. It doesn't really matter too much. It may lose them around about five seconds, which isn't ideal in a world record speed run. But the so one minute ten in the nether, nearly. However, this nether is going to be paywalled. To enter the nether, you're going to have to scroll down and click subscribe. Uh, you Brian, know what? I know I'll subscribe cheating, right now. Whoa! This no way! Did you see that, guys? As he said it. Scroll down and click subscribe. The, Sorry, the, the, the button goes rainbow on YouTube. Wait, does it? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, please, can you subscribe? Did the button go rainbow? Did it? But I'll press it if it did. But no way. Does, I've never seen that before. That is so... That is really, really cool. <laughs> I'm going to subscribe. There you go. And it does a sparkly thing as well. You should subscribe to me and to, uh, to, to Fulham's channels. Right next to the bottom of a fortress. Okay, that is crazy. We can see that this is a stables bastion, which isn't always the perfect kind of bastion. Now, rooting stables gaps can be quite slow. Yeah, stables is hard because because they're usually a little bit random. This chest, they go and check the gaps and notice that there's no good gaps, meaning that there's no gold blocks in the bottom of this bastion. But looking towards the top, they see two triple chest ramparts. The, the now, top, yeah, the, the top is always good for, for these. In each of these triple chest ramparts and allowing them to trade eight gold blocks in one of the fastest bastion routes out of any of the four bastions. It is a, yeah, I've seen this back in the in the day. Record in a stables, but in my honest opinion, a connected double triple rampart in stables is one of the, if not the fastest bastion routes. Okay, yeah, yeah. In all of that is crazy. So, I think that this is a pretty good start of the run. You know, we're getting some amazingly. And there's nothing here so far that I've said. Oh, it, it doesn't look right at face value. You know, maybe when you analyze it deeper, frame by frame, look at transitions. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it he cut out and it was like splitted. If you know what I mean, like he'd done the Nether on a separate thing to do in other bit. I wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, let's let's continue. Why has he got no XP at this point? Wait, does he have no XP before into the Nether at all? That's crazy. I just scanned through it all. Yeah, and he, he never gets XP. Just right next door, and we're gonna see them throw a pearl hang in just a second after they. I'm obviously these attacking mobs is overrated. Able to <laughs> hang a pearl as has been discussed in multiple of my other videos, where we throw an ender pearl and then reduce our render distance. So yeah, yeah, so that it gets thrown, yeah. We can teleport whenever we need to when we update our render distance. We can it's obviously a good place. The thing is, right, as, as, it doesn't matter how... And I remember coming from the Sonic speedrunning community, somebody once said this to me, because there was a there was a speedrunner that was... He's, he's insane at Sonic speedrunning, okay? and But he, he got banned for cheating multiple times on, and, and had accusations a lot of the times. And... And I was always like, why Why is, did he cheat? Like, he was so good. And, like, he could get world records. And then somebody's reply was, it doesn't matter how good you are. Cheating is always easier. And those th that I've always remembered that. And it doesn't matter how good a player is. Cheating is always easier. Anyway, let's yeah. continue. They grab the rest of their trades. So it, it looks like a good of stuff that they've got. A good bastion and get ready run. to kill those blazes. Nothing in this run screams fake yet. But notice that Lawyer doesn't use the two TNT in her inventory. This is a little oh, bit liar is a sheep. because Didn't most know that. top level speedrunners would definitely use that TNT and exhibit a strategy called Blaze TNT. This Just would open speed up, up anyway, I'll have a little, uh, a little bit of it. Allowing for more valid spawn places for those Blaze. This little means bit. that each <laughs> Just say I'll have a little bit of eat. I'll have a drink of tea. <laughs> a little bit of it. I got it backwards, didn't I? Anyway, I'm trying to concentrate on what he's saying and commentating. Apparently, I cannot do that. Blaze spawn cycle will, on average, have more Blazes. 
so that we can leave the nether faster when we get six rods. Instead of this, yeah. lawyer yeah, spends yeah, that their makes time pre-crafting the beds, which in the end doesn't really make too much of a difference and gets insanely lucky on the rod drop rates, being able to leave. Wonder why they don't use the offhand at all. Six blazes. Lawyer then blind travels at the spawner and prepares to use a calculator to throw these eyes. Annoyingly for the viewer, we don't actually get to see this eye measurement, and we also don't get to see Ninja Brain Bot, which is the calculator, on the screen. Some runners why. don't have Ninja Brain Bot on their OBS capture. It can make it look quite cluttered and quite messy, um, but it's definitely more annoying as a onlooker to not be able to see it. Yeah, I mean, there's not exactly anything illegal about that, but clearly it's annoying not be able to see what they're doing. Clearly, we are heading towards that second portal towards, and Lawyer nice nearly clutch. dies after throwing that pearl. See, they're a good player. Hit a really nice pearl clearly. watch. And finally, they just do this foodless, more or less. Oh, they, oh, they have the, the offhand on the other side. That's why I, I was confused. Lawyer ends up digging I get into it now. this wall and placing the obsidian down to build the second portal and travel straight into the stronghold. And she does hit. However, this is not the starter staircase, and she has to instead head back through the That's stronghold annoying. to try and find exactly where the starter staircase well, is. They're going to make it look As realistic. Lawyer heads back <laughs> through the stronghold. She goes back towards the starter staircase and luckily for her is able to spot the portal room through this cave oh, and wow. mine shaft overlap. Good, good being spot able though, to enter the end legit. in just over five minutes. Of course, breaking any previous world records for end enters. Yeah. What we don't see here is the super fast zero cycle strategy, which is a little bit unfortunate. However, Lawyer gets an insanely fast perch nonetheless. And with five I would, uh, Yeah, I don't know enough about the zero cycle to know. You know, how to, how to actually get that. For the dragon, it does indeed snap in towards the fountain. Four beds as well, which is not easy. Oh, they've got a, have they got a respawn anchor? I guess they're going to use that as well, yeah. Sadly, with five explosives, Lawyer detonates most of the beds too early, meaning that the dragon is still alive after these five wow. explosives. Wow, what a way. This means that Lawyer's <laughs> going to have to hit the dragon's head hitbox a few times to be able to finish... That wastes quite a bit of time. Help. It shows how insane this run is because it wasn't a good end. Being in the year 2024, if we saw this maybe 2020, 2021, we could definitely... I mean, players are so good at the top that five explosives, you would, you, you'd you expect to do four. And the, after the fourth one, if you missed it, you'd have just like a tiny bit of health left. But to miss it in five, could be nerves, you know. Um, But I'm interested to see where the cheats are here because I don't... I, I, face value, I'm watching that. I don't see any cheats. It looks legit. But well, obviously, these these moderators are very clever at, at catching this. Let's let's see. Five I'm interested. Five explosives and not instantly killing the dragon is very suspicious. However, as the moderators of the leaderboard would need, they would need hard evidence to prove that this is not real, and we can find that. At the very start of this YouTube video, there is no evidence of this world creation. We simply spawn into the world, okay, which yeah, definitely yeah. means that the run cannot be verified. So straight Next, away, it's a red we flag. We don't have either the run or the seeds. The thing is. If they, I don't know if they streamed it or if they record it, but usually for to do a world record, you've got to either stream the entire thing, like stream loads of attempts, or um, have the footage recorded so you can send that to them as well. So they must have the bit before of the world creation, and I don't know why they wouldn't include that. It's just like, uh, it's two seconds, you might as well include it. But I, I, again, that doesn't mean they've cheated, but it's just a little bit... They must ha have that footage and be able to supply it to the moderators. You wouldn't delete it if you got a world record this crazy. Trust me, you wouldn't. This not only means that the run's not on the leaderboards, but it's also not in the queue waiting to be verified yet. Okay, so they've not submitted it. Which increases suspicion. Next, there's Why would no they not do evidence that? of the seed in the description. But the final nail in the coffin is definitely when the F3 menu is pulled up midway through this run to try and find where the coordinates are. On the right-hand side of the screen, in a real run, you would see the words resetting a random seed. This is because of the mod called Atom, which allows us to reset worlds super fast, but it also adds a layer of verification. And just to hammer home... Interest in this. Okay, let's continue. I didn't know this was a thing. Which, these are very subtle things to say that they're cheating, and it's almost... Anyway, let's continue. ...verifiable this run is. There's been a release of the speedrunning build of Sodium, as version 2. In this world record, sadly, we are still on version 0.2.1, which is a pretty old version. This was released out in 2022. So already two years of grace period has indeed passed. So this run would never be verifiable, if even if it was real. But lastly, the biggest nail in the coffin is that lawyers cheated runs in the past. Nobody in the speedrunning community thinks that this run is ever going to be verified. It's interesting. 
Because it's, it's like, did they actually do the run on, or, or what did they cheat? And obviously they've, they have a history of cheating. They've not submitted the run, but if they submitted the run with the correct footage before it to show the seed and stuff and submit it with the seed and then they could verify that part. Obviously they're, so, they're using an old, an old build of sodium, which, you know, according to the current rules, you can't verify. It doesn't mean it's, it's fake necessarily. Um, unless there's something extra to that, I don't know. But I, I, yeah, this is, this is interesting. Because no one thinks it's real. And even in the description of this run, you can see that Lawyer has just left one word. Real. Real. <laughs> Nobody that's in the speedrunning community seems to have been baited into believing this world record is real. Especially for the fact that Lawyer has kind of faked runs in the past just for fun. Now, is this for fun I'm not or is this, judging is this Lawyer for, for this. I think, that it's, I think that it's fine to have these set seed type runs as long as they're not submitted to the leaderboard. Ah, so he's probably done on a set seed. Is, is what the, the general consensus is. And as far as I know, Lawyer's not submitted this to the leaderboard, nor does she have a plan on submitting it to the leaderboard. And in which case, getting some set seed runs, even as practice, is a good idea. But faking these runs and at least being public about that is much better than trying to fake the runs and get them through the verification process. But it does... Yeah, but you're still, like, putting world record in the title when it's not world record, so you're just lying to everyone. Like, I, I, I you know, it's like it's not a world record. If it's, if it's done on a set seed, it isn't a world record. If it's done on a random seed, it is, but obviously they're not trying to say that. It's because you would submit it if you really got it. You'd, you'd do everything you could to prove that it was correct and stuff. Um, so it definitely up an interesting question. Does uploading these fake runs make it more difficult for real runners like Drip120 to be verified as a world record? To learn more about Drip Probably does. World it record, is, it, you can click the end. It is, it, is, it is harder, definitely, because you have to jump through so many hoops now. Like, to submit a speedrun in 2019, you didn't really have to do any. You just played the game, you know. They even allowed Optifine on, on older versions and stuff. And and now, like, it's, you've got to be using a very specific set of everything and, and have loads of stuff just to prove that you haven't cheated. Um, So, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind, of, um, kind of interesting. I am curious to see how many views the video's got. I mean, it's got 8.5k. They still have put real. Um, and this comes out. I mean, I think the, the way... I mean, they're, they're claiming this is this is random random seed. But I, I think they're being sarcastic. I mean, I, I think it's a, it's a joke. So, yeah, they would have submitted it anyway. You're like, who in their right mind wouldn't, uh, wouldn't do it? But they they definitely they definitely played it well. But yeah, I still think set C, if it is set C, they shouldn't claim it's a world record. Anyway, interesting video. I enjoyed watching that. Thank you, Fulham, for making it. You can check out his channel in the description. And don't forget to get yourself one of these blockheads. The link is at the top of the description.